Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is how to select an option in list box field using Selenium, that is Selenium web driver. Let me answer. In Selenium web driver library, we have a predefined class known as select class and using the predefined methods or commands of the select class, we can easily select an option in the list box. First of all, what exactly is this list box field? Let me show you practically. I'll take you to one web application, sample web application, omai.blogspot.com. And here is the list box, okay? It can also be called as multi-selection box field, okay? So it's kind of something, you know, a kind of similar family related to drop-down field. But what is the difference between this list box and this drop-down is in drop-down, you can select only one option at a time. Okay, you see, if you want to select a different option, doc4 is gone, doc1 came. And if you want to change this option to another option, you see only one option at a time we can select in the drop-down field. But coming to the list box or multi-selection box field, here we can select multiple options. Manually, if you have to select this multiple options in the list box field, you have to press, the, press and hold the control key on your keyboard and click like this, okay? You can select multiple options, but in a drop-down field, you can select only one option. But how to select these options in the multi-selection box field or list box field using Selenium web driver? In Selenium web driver, we have a predefined class known as select class using its predefined methods, okay? We have to create an object for the select class and uh, by using that object reference, we can call some methods and by calling that methods, okay? we can select the options, okay? I'll show you the different ways of selecting an option in the list box field using Selenium. For that, I'll switch to this Eclipse ID where we have the sample project configured with the uh, testNG, Selenium, et cetera, et cetera. And here we have the main method. Here I'm going to write some code, web driver, driver is equal to new Chrome driver like this, okay? Now I'll hover the mouse and import this web driver from Selenium library, import this Chrome driver also from Selenium library. And I'll say driver dot manage dot window dot maximize, then driver dot get. And here I need to provide the application URL where the list box field is available. So this is the application URL where the list box field is available. I'll paste it there. And now I would like to inspect this uh, multi selection box field and create a web element out of it. Inspect this and create a web element for the multi selection box field. It has an ID. Copy this ID of the multi selection box field or list box field. Uh, and here I'll write down uh, driver dot find element by dot ID of that list box field, provide the ID locator of that list box field and here say some list box field uh, element, okay? Like this, I'll create a web element for the most. The return type of this uh, find element is web element that will come here. Now, once this is done, once this is done, next thing is I need to create an object for the select class. Select, select is equal to new select. Like this, I need to create an object for the predefined uh, class in Selenium web driver known as select class. For the mouse on the select class, I import it from Selenium library. And uh, here, the constructor cannot be empty. To this constructor, you have to pass either the drop down field or the list box field that you want to select an option from. So in our case, uh, this is a list box. I'll copy this uh, list box element and paste it here. The error is gone. And after that, using the object reference of the select class, we know that we have passed the list box field. Okay, in that list box field only the options will be selected. Select dot, select by visible text. Okay, this is one command. The select predefined class, uh, we have this command on select by visible text where you just go to the application and see, uh, let's say would like to select uh, Audi, A-U-D-I. Okay, view that Audi here, Audi text here. That's it, okay. With the help of the visible text, the option will be selected, Audi will be selected. After that, I would like to select another thing based on the index. So you can still use the select by visible text again for other options also, but I would like to cover all the other commands available for selecting an option in the list box field. So we also have something known as select by index with the help of index also. Here index zero means the first option. Volvo is the zero index. Swift is the index one. Honda is the index two. So index one I will give, that is Swift, okay? If I give one means it will select the Swift option. After already, Swift is getting selected. Now then, one more command is also there for selecting an option in the list box field that is uh, select by value. Okay, this is the last command we have. And uh, here we need to give the value. So how to give the value, for example, I would like to select uh, uh, Hyundai. Inspect this Hyundai. And this Hyundai, 
this is a HTML code of this Hyundai option in this list box field, and it has a value attribute some with some value. This value we have to copy. Value attributes value we have to copy. And here we have to, in double quotes, you just paste the value attributes value of that option. That's it. Now run this code and observe that in the list box field, Audi, the other one was the second option, whatever the second option was there. Okay, that is this fifth, and Hyundai will be selected. Last three options will be selected. Yes, okay. Just see that last three options will be selected one by one. Audi, Swift, Hyundai got selected. So hope guys, you got the idea how to use the select class, predefined class in Selenium WebDriver for selecting an option in the list box field and what exactly is the list box field. Everything is covered in a practical way in this session. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.